Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed the Halloween-esque sort of introduction we've got going on and welcome to the first part of the Guild Wars Halloween Guide. So this will cover the first act and the main sort of storyline. There's loads of stuff going on like the party fights, the cauldrons, uh, going to find the candy corns, the carving the pumpkins, loads of stuff going on. It's really cool. But this is the main storyline and you'll want to start it in the middle of Lion's Arch. There will be this little azure of a pumpkin above their head. There is one the opposite side, but that's about pumpkin carving. So go to this one. And they'll send you this sort of ghost purple thing in the mail. And it's powered by candy corn, so you have to go and get some candy corn to power it. And you scan for, like, uh, Mad King Thorn's present sort of thing, which are the ghosts. And if you scan right next to the azure, this will bring up the first ghost. You may have to wait a few seconds. Or people may have done it and the ghost may already be there, like a lot of this video. There's so many people doing it, I don't have to scan that much. So talk to this person first. Go through the chat and they will give you a sheet of paper. Now this paper will give you clues to the next areas. There are five areas in total after this ghost. So we get five pages and that will give us the sort of clue journal of Mad King Thorn at the end of it. So we get the first and it gives you like one and four and the other ones give you more so this is the first area this is uh in lion's arch again if you can see the map it's not far from the circle orange circle and we're off into the water now you swim along and you look for a sewage pipe you may have been here before you may not have um if you go down here to this boat and you go down here i was looking for it for a little bit like where can it be and i just swim into the pier but um, it's quite easy actually. In a second I just turn around and there it is. It's quite low so it's right at the bottom there. And you swim it all the way along. There isn't anything to attack. I do this whole sort of event act in level 12 character because I just wanted to play my warrior instead of my 80 ranger. But it does go to a level 30 zone but I just am able to skip most of the stuff. So you get to this place and you do swim downwards. And at the bottom of here, there is a shipwreck. And if you go to the edge, if, oh, I mean the end and the bottom, if no one's around, then you'll have to get out your items like this and choose the right scanning frequency. Um, if you go to the back there and do an aqueous scan, you will reveal the ghost. But guys, I've already done it, so I can just talk to the guy right here. It might be similar for you that um, everyone's doing it. You don't have to do many scans, you can save your candy corn to save it for the really cool items like the shield that looks like the moon. And the moon looks awesome, it always did on Halloween when Guild Wars. And it's no different in number two. So we get the next page, the next few clues. And we are off to still inside Lion's Arch, just a bit further out in the water. Now over here you swim to this big rock and it's one of the sticky out islands on the map you swim down to this abandoned tower and you um, do another scan it is an etheric scan this time and this ghost will appear uh, get the page from them um, and then we are off to outside divinity reach so I found a pumpkin to carve just thought I'd chuck that in there <laughs> it's uh, facing the wrong way when we carve it but you go to the graveyard it's not that far you can see divinity reach rule there so you run east a bit and you go up to this crypt and then you do another scan in this one you do a Gacia scan, but someone's already done it again, so you talk to this guy. Uh, follow his story, it's an interesting story by the Mad King, I won't spoil it. You may want to spoil it by reading it, but don't, go do it, it's really good. So you get the page and the clues and we're off to the next place. Now the next place is Kessex Hills, now this is where it is um, getting higher level. And if you just run up to this island there, you saw it on the map, uh, talk to this ghost. And get the next point so that was easy it's not hard this is the hardest one the last page um you have to go to this area it's a uh, provenic tombs in gandaran fields now you run along into there into the crypt uh, you have to miss the traps which i fail at which sucks some kind soul comes and revives me i did cut the video it wasn't that quick <laughs> but you run through uh you'll see loads of people get downed here we go, just dodge for it all. Now there are oozes and veteran oozes and stuff, but some people have killed them. I am level 12 and it's like level 30 to 40 here. Uh, I helped that guy. We run along a bit more. So try and do it when there's lots of people around. 
uh, else if you're a low level if you're a higher level it's, it doesn't matter really I just uh, tagged along with these guys I was quite lucky now this room um, you see the shining blocks there I don't pick one up because I thought I'd just die and I wouldn't be much help uh, there are pressure plates to open the door over here on the left there it is and that is the door you want to go through you want to go put the rocks on the pressure plates around this area uh, you can investigate the door if you like but eventually it will open and inside is a awesome huge chest actually just in front of you there and I got a, I think it was a green we'll see in a second um, so make sure to open that and um, don't forget to talk to the ghost uh, I'll just clear my inventory here um, that rock shining there do not click on that until you found the ghost I made the mistake and uh, you'll see by my bottoms becoming naked it's just stupid so yeah I clicked on the rock by accident <laughs> but the ghost is around the corner you go in the door and it's just around the corner so don't forget to talk to him and then talk to the rock the, talk to the rock the rock teleports you outside the crypt if you want to stay in the area uh, so now you have all the pages you can return to lion's arch and hand in the quest and you'll get this book which is ready for I think I think it's act 2 is ready for him I might have missed some stuff to do but I think it's for act 2 this book acts as a cloak and I think it looks pretty cool to be honest so you can read the the message you get from the no gnome <gasps> Azuran um, and then chuck the book on it looked cool so a little bit of news uh, the finale was meant to be on the 31st of October but now it is on the 28th so we get a few more days of Mad King Thorn which is pretty epic it was tweeted by ArenaNet quite recently so there's the book I think it looks pretty damn awesome and thanks for watching everyone I hope this uh, helped you and look out for Act 2 don't forget to like, rate, subscribe and I'll catch you next time thanks all, bye